were developed to help offenders reform and be the better version of themselves. WAD's Karen Eiser takes us to the Danville Correctional Center, where the rebirth of a program is making a difference in helping men cope in ways they've never imagined. Good morning, Karen. Artists like Picasso used emotions to create masterpieces. How they felt on the inside reflected their artwork on a canvas. Well, here in central Illinois, prisoners within the Danville Correctional Center are doing the same thing. First week in, uh, in prison, it was so, I was so broke down. My soul, my heart. My journey began in a darker place because I was on death row 30 years ago. Spending time behind bars can bring out the worst in people. I was disappointed with myself, with life. When you get here, all your raw emotions are laid out. And finding a way to cope can be difficult. But for Daryl Sims and Santiago Garcia, they found a way to express themselves through art. Now I remember when I started drawing, and I believe that that was like, um, that, that was a spark. Like that was my hope. It's something that I think could carry me through a very dark part of my life. And now they're using their skills to help guide other offenders through their artistic journey. Change your reality, your perspective, you know, of what you've been at, what you could do. And it just helps you just demonstrate a person, your feelings. I try to pass this on to people, I try to show that there can be a better world through art. We can change the negativity and use it to produce beauty. So with the stroke of a brush, these men are able to make a difference in their lives as well as others. I believe this, this program here in Danville has opened up doors for communication. A community, you know, if we get together, we have to be as one, you know, have mindsets and mindset. And be the artist that will spark change. Through this, I believe coming here every day and sharing that with guys and checking the eagles at the door has made a big difference. In this moment when I paint, I'm no longer in prison. This is who I am now. This is it. It is no going back. So this program isn't just an art course. Actually, one offender went through the art program, applied for an industries job in the Danville Correctional Center in graphic design. Now he's out and he has a job as a graphic design artist for a company that does vinyl wraps on cars. So you can learn more about this program and these backstories from these offenders. Just head over to our website, WNDTV.com. Darren.